I'm going all in on Skaramoon. Here is why. So, uh, if you have been watching my videos at all, well, you should be. They're pretty good. You guys should already know that on my free-to-play account, I want all the Harbingers on this account. And I have no Archons on this account. I don't have Zhongli. I don't have Vinti. I don't have the Hida. And I don't have the Raiden Shogun. I only different characters. You know, I have Ayato. I have Yoimiya. And I have Tartaglia. And Tartaglia on this account was a very big part of it because he was my, I don't think he's my first limited character, but he is one of the characters that I, you know, took the most time into building. And I, after that point, I decided I just want all the Harbingers possible on this account. And besides the point that, you know, Scaramouche is a Harbinger, in fact, the reason why I also want to keep, you know, investing into the Scaramouche thing Hopefully I get him because I am not at a guaranteed. I want to get Scaramouche because he is probably going to be a damaged character. You know, damaged character. My squad, my team, my, you know, support, they've been built. You know, the ones that I need. And I don't really need more supports, really, unless they're really, really good. For example, if Farazan is going to be an incredible support, which I hope is going to be on the same banner, as Scaramouche or the Wander, whatever you want to say, uh, that would be good. Then I could build both of them at the same time. Same way how I'm trying to build, uh, you know, Sino as well as Candice, which I still haven't got to because it's so, so dreadful to actually farm for those two. So that's kind of a thing. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try to invest all of my time into maxing out my Scaramouche. I'm going to get all of his talent to level 10. I'm going to make him as strong as possible. I'm pretty sure, I think, I don't know, there are going to be new artifact sets. So no matter what, I can't really get a good artifact set for him right now. I could put a Viridescent set and a Gladiator set together. Tell me how you'd build a Heizo maybe. But other than that fact, uh, I don't really have a good set for him right now. What I'm planning to do, I'm going to invest all my resin all, everything into one video and hopefully it's going to be a fun video for you guys to watch and hopefully it's entertaining i'm going to take him to his absolute limit of course i'm going to take him to the boss fight as well against himself that's going to be pretty funny i think it's going to be a pretty enjoyable time i haven't had a proper dps i was super excited for since ayato which you know it's been it's been a while uh, at least for this account right so I'm really excited to have a character on this account that I can finally build that I really, really like. And to be honest, I really like Sino. I summoned for him. I really wanted him and I got him on this account. But he was so annoying to farm for that I, I, I just didn't build him. I just couldn't. His farming was so dull and I'm still farming as you guys can see. I'm trying to look for the things. I don't have Tenari on this account. So it's making it super difficult for me to find the, the scarabs right the only thing i could do is probably use the Tevat interact map and try to look for them there but it's so tedious especially since i only have one monitor so it's going to be uh pretty tedious at that oh yeah i mean that's my reason for trying to go for scaramouche i know you guys have some more reasons for you guys to be going for Scaramouche or to be skipping him entirely, whether it's for another character that's coming in the future, for example, if Dia's coming in the future or something like that, you guys probably want to summon for her. For now, that is it. That is what I want. And to be honest, this new Spiral Abyss could actually be pretty good for Scaramouche. I know, I know, you're like, I mean, it's kind of obvious that they want to sort of, you know, have that selling point, right? Any animal character can do, you know, well there. <laughs> actually any character in general could do well there but it is certainly built for an electro character right now so maybe like you ride in shogun or yaimiko could really do a lot of damage in there um especially because of the electro hounds right so it's going to be a very nice thing there other than that fact that is going to be pretty much it i'm pretty excited for scaramouche's arrival i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below whether you're summoning whether you're skipping i'm just genuinely curious so that is going to be pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed watching if you guys did please consider liking the video subscribing to the channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video very soon bye bye get on my face boy